In this video, we'll show you step-by-step -step how easy it is to set up your first contact button in under 10 minutes. To help you get a better idea of how the app setup process works, the first thing we're going to do is create a new app. It's completely up to you which app to start with, but for this demo, we're going to start with our most popular one, the Contact Form app. You'll find the Contact Form app in the top left corner of the first dashboard page all new accounts begin with. So let's go ahead and click the Create App button to start building it. Every app has a slightly different setup process, but for the most part, if you know how to create one app, you can create any of them. And if you ever get stuck on what to do next, we have a link at the top of every app creation page that takes you to step-by-step -step instructions for that app in our Help Center. But for now, let's get started on customizing the contact form app. The first thing you need to do is give your app a display name that will show up next to the app icon on your contact button's menu screen. After that, let's give website visitors a little extra context for what this app does in the app description field. By the way, if this tutorial ever goes too fast, you can always pause or rewind this video. All right, now that we've named and described our app, let's decide on what kind of contact form we want to use. To make things as simple as possible, we've created a few different kinds of templates for you to choose from. And if you want to create your own from scratch, you can do that by selecting the blank form option from the drop-down menu. But for most people, the basic contact form option is probably all that you need, so that's why we made it the default option. The template includes fields to capture a website visitor's name, email, and message. For demo purposes, let's say you also want to add a field for phone numbers. Not a problem. All you need to do is click the Add Component button, followed by the Text button. In the pop-up screen that appears, just select Phone in the far right tab and we'll fill in the text placeholders, but feel free to change them to whatever you want them to be. We've also included some submission rules on the bottom of the screen for you to consider. For this example, let's go ahead and make phone number a required field and only allow entries that have numbers and spaces. Once those boxes are checked, go ahead and click the Submit button. Most contact forms have the message box appear last, so let's change the order on the screen by hovering over this new field on the left-hand side, clicking it, and then dragging it up a spot. Release the field once you have it where you want it to be in the form. Simple as that. If for some reason you want to modify or delete this field, just hover over the right side of the field and click on the green Edit or Delete icons that appear. All right, for the next step, we're going to add some header text to make it clear that this is a contact form and set an email address where any contact form entry should be sent to. You can also change the text that is displayed after a form is submitted, but for this example, we're going to stick with the default text. Okay, let's move on to the next section where we'll design the app icon that users will see inside the button menu screen. Each app comes with a default icon and color, but it's completely up to you to decide how it should look. For example, if you don't like the icon, simply click the Search Icons button and select from hundreds of different icons. Or if you have your own icon, you can upload it by selecting the custom option. For this example, we're going to stick with the default icon and change the color and border. To do that, you can either paste in your preferred color hex code in the box or click on the color box to bring up a color selector tool. To keep things simple, we're going to flip the icon color with the background color and then add a thin border along the outside of the icon. Simple, right? Let's now move on to the final section you will find on every app creation page. The Display Options section gives you a lot of control over where and how this new app will be displayed. The other options to choose from are whether you want the app to show up on all types of devices or only on a desktop or mobile browser. If for some reason you ever want to remove an app from a button but don't want to delete it, you can easily toggle it off here. And finally, you can choose to hide some apps at certain times of the day. This is useful for apps like click to call that connect with a personal device. If you don't want to be bothered after work hours, simply slide the daily hour bar to the time the app should be deactivated from showing up inside your button. Since this app only sends out an email, we're going to leave it on all the time. We've now reached the end of the contact form app creation process. All you need to do now is click the Save button and you're done. As mentioned earlier, the process for creating new apps is nearly the same for each one, and if you ever get stuck, 
just click on the link to the setup guide at the top of the app creation page. If this is the first time you've used the contact button dashboard, you'll automatically be sent to the button creation screen next. Creating a new button is just as easy as creating an app. Let's show you how to do it now. The first thing you need to do is give your button an internal ID. If you want to create multiple buttons, for example on one of your subdomains, this is a useful way for you to keep track of what each button is for. But for this demo, we're just going to call it website button. In the next field, you have the option to write your own custom text that shows up when your button is in an expanded state. Let's keep things simple and go with a basic contact us greeting for this example. After that, it's now up to you whether or not you want to display a header on top of your app menu. A header is useful if you want to give visitors more context about your menu screen or to write a longer greeting message. If you want, you can also add a logo or profile pic to the left side of the header to add a personal touch. For this example, we'll keep it simple and just fill in welcome to contact button for the title and leave the subtitle blank. Depending on the color of your website, you may also want to add or remove shadows to your button and menu. Since many websites are of a lighter color, we recommend keeping the shadow on for extra contrast, but it's totally up to you. All right, let's move on to the colors and font section. Just like in the app icon design section, you can use hex codes or the color picker to customize the look of your button. And for those who have unlocked the feature, you can also change the Google font that is used in the button and menu screen. Let's move on to the app menu screen next. This is where you can select which apps you want to add to this button. Since we've only created one app so far, you'll only see the contact form app listed here. But in the future, you can always come back to edit your button as well as remove or add new apps in this section. Moving on to the last step of creating your first button brings us to the display options section. Here you can decide if you want to go with a row, column, or app icon only layout. Additionally, you have the option of picking the location of where you want the button to display on your site when it loads. You can also choose to show users only a circle button without text when they arrive on a web page. If you want, you can hide your button from showing up in a browser until a visitor has scrolled down the page a little ways. And finally, just like our first app, you can choose what kind of devices can see this button on your site or easily turn it off completely without having to delete it or uninstall it from your website builder. All right, at this point, we've done enough to be able to install our button on our website. But in most cases, you're going to want to add quite a few more apps to your button. So if you want to pause this video to go do that, please do. We'll pick things back up when you're ready. But if you're ready to move forward or just curious to see how the installation process works, go ahead and click the settings button found in your side menu. Once you do that, you'll immediately be brought to the test and install settings tab. If you ever want to see what your new button looks like before installing it on your site, you can always come to this page and click the test button. This will automatically open up a new browser tab where you'll see a live version of your button to test. Let's give it a try now. Here you can see a sample page with our new button located in the bottom right. Go ahead and click it to open the menu screen. There you'll see the contact form app we created earlier. Let's go ahead and fill out the form to double check that it's working. Looks like everything is working as expected. So let's go back to the settings screen. This time, we're going to click on the gray install button. This will give us some installation options to choose from. Since we're going to install the button on our own, let's select the manually add HTML code option. When you do that, you'll see almost the exact same screen as you see here, except that the pinkish purple text will be a little different for you. That's because this website script is unique to your website and your button. Your final step is to follow our detailed instructions of where to copy and paste this code inside your website builder. For most of the popular builders, like WordPress and Wix, this should take you about five minutes to complete. You can find a link to those instructions in the description section of this video or by clicking the help icon on the bottom left of your dashboard. We have now reached the end of our setup instructions. We hope you have found it useful.
If there's anything else we can do to help you get your button working how you want it to, please head over to contactbutton.com and connect with us via the contact button on our site.